In this equation, we have C3H6O plus O2. This is a combustion reaction. We end up with carbon dioxide and water. Let's count the atoms up on each side. Let us balance the equation. We have three carbons, six hydrogens, and one oxygen. Plus, we have these two oxygens here with the O2. So now we have three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, two oxygens, plus we have this one oxygen here. So we have three oxygens as well on the product side. Let's start by balancing the carbons. We could put a three in front of the CO2, one times three. That would give us three carbon atoms, and those would be balanced. And then we need to update these oxygens here. So now we have three times two, six oxygens, plus the one oxygen. That'll give us seven. Let's leave the oxygens till last and do the hydrogens. We have six hydrogens here with the C3H6O. So we could put a three in front of the H2O. Two times three, that would give us six. So the hydrogens would be balanced, but again, now we have to update the oxygens. So we have two times three, that's six, plus we have one times three, that gives us three. So we have nine oxygen atoms. So the question is, on this side of the equation, 1 plus something will give us 9. 1 plus 8, that'll give us 9. So if I put a 4 in front of the O2, I'll have 2 times 4, that's 8, plus the 1. That gives me 9, and that'll balance the oxygens. Let's do that. 1 oxygen here, plus 2 times 4, 8. That gives us 9, and we're done. This equation is balanced. When you do an equation like this, be sure to count all of the oxygens up. And then it's often helpful to leave the oxygens till last when you're balancing, and then you can fix them because this oxygen here, it's all by itself. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for C3H6O plus O2. And thanks for watching.